so the atmosphere right now is amazing. A little bit of sunshine as well, course side at Aintree as we build up to the big one. Now, a lot of nerves on site uh, as we do build up to the Grand National, but someone who I'm thinking is a little bit more nervous than most uh, is Laura Wright, who opens the race every single year by singing the National Anthem. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. You know what we were just saying, weren't we? To have live crowds back here at Aintree is just wonderful. And to know that I'll be out there, hopefully in sunshine later on, singing the National Anthem is going to feel so special. Do you get nervous before it? Because the world is literally watching that moment. 600 million people. Sorry if that makes you even yeah, more Thanks nervous. for that. Thanks. Just a little reminder there. <laughs> yeah. I do, but then I also think, for me, racing is so unique. And when you chat to some of the jockeys, you know, some of the owners and the trainers, for them as well, it's just full of such excitement and such anticipation. And I try and take that over the nerves and this year actually is going to be really special because we're joined by the Liverpool and Notty Ash signing choir so alongside me on stage I won't be alone I won't be alone because I'm he heavily pregnant but I won't be alone because they're going to be signing and I'm actually going to be signing the national anthem as well this year wow so you've got to learn that. I've been learning it yeah over the last couple of months with some incredible experts obviously a really special moment on Thursday NHS um, 10,000 tickets were given for free tell us about that yeah so uh, I stood out there on stage but was with the NHS and Alderhey staff choir we sang a piece of music that I wrote for the Jockey Club called You and that was in dedication to everyone that we really owe so much to over the last couple of years. What's it been like for you coming back Laura because obviously you do this every year to see it opens magical isn't it? It's just one of those festivals that is so unique and also I want to say that it's the people of Liverpool that make it what it is. You know I'm, I'm from down south and someone who's been welcomed with open arms and come up here and performed each year it's become so special to me it really does mean a lot and I'm just looking forward to telling my, my little one about it in years to come. Well, I was going <laughs> to finally say are you bring in the little one who will be born then big congratulations Thank will you. will he or she be coming on 2023's festival? I'll absolutely be here hopefully next year with baby in tow and my daughter Ottilie who'll be two and a half as well so yeah it's going to be a family affair next year. <laughs> Good luck today singing that national anthem 5.15 just before the big race. Good luck with Bump as well Thank you. and we'll see you next year. Thanks Thank Laura. You.